We're gonna do an oil change on the mother-in-law's A1 Sportback. Now this is an S line, which makes it a little bit different because it's got the 1.8 liter engine, where most of them have the 1.4. So of course the usual Volkswagen 1.8, which is in everything, uh, right up to quite high powered stuff. Uh, and this one, the DS, it was a seven speed DSG. Yeah, nice, they come with bigger brakes, 18 inch wheels. Nice little front red front lip on it. You can't really see because of a door shut, but uh, and a different body kit. But yeah, these things are pretty nice. So we're just going to do a little oil change. Not too hard, but yeah, a little bit different from the regular Audi A1s with the uh, 1.4s. So uh, let's pop the bonnet and have a look. Here we go under the hood. The typical Audi four cylinder, uh, the 1.8 and the two liter have a very similar engine cover like our S3 had. Uh, and here we go. So we're going to pop the dipstick up just to let some air go through and open the oil fill cap. And then we're gonna climb underneath it now. So we've got it jacked up. So yeah, jack up your car and then we'll uh, get underneath and remove a few things. With the car jacked up, you're gonna to have to grab yourself a T25 uh, and we're gonna take off the belly pan. So this is this protective cover here. There's a couple screws in the back and there's three or four kind of along the front edge. So we'll just whip those out. It looked a bit wet back here. So now's a good time to examine. And yeah, we're a little bit wet around here on the fill. I had a similar thing on my S3. It's bloody plastic oil pans like to leak, but I don't think this one's, I think this one might just be leaking from the drain plug. Anyway, I got a new drain. So we'll pop that uh, new plug to put in there. Okay, this is the drain plug. Now, it's got this weird twisty thing, but so I bought one of these on Amazon uh, to do it because I got it for my, when I had my Audi S3. Uh, but yeah, it's, you can use a flathead screwdriver. It's just got this weird kind of bit on it. Anyway, it was just a couple bucks. Got the drain pan ready to go. I got some paper towel somewhere, where'd that go? Um, and we're just gonna put that in and you give it a 90 degree turn and then it comes right out. Uh, now, I, you're supposed to obviously have your engine a little bit warm, or at least just not frozen cold. Uh, I really despise hot oil pouring all over myself, so. There we go. Now, you can reuse that plug. It's got a rubber seal, but uh, most of the oil filters that I've seen and that I buy come with a new plug, so we're just gonna reuse that plug, so. There we go. Let that drain. You can hear that dribbling uh, while that's doing it. We'll take the oil filter housing off. Now that is a big sucker. It's a 32 millimeter socket. Um, if you don't have one, you can use a wrench, but I suggest you get one because there is a torque setting on it of 25 plus five newton meters. Um, so yeah, we'll just take that off of there. So that's not very at all. Now we're to get ready for this because this is going to leave it. usually make a mess. Get a plastic bag and some paper towel ready. So plastic bag, just stick that down here next to it and then paper towel and I got my paper towel so I'll get a bunch of those sheets ready because I always drip this so I'll just tuck it down around the bottom of the housing. Make sure it's not in a position where it's gonna get caught when you put the housing back on. And a few pieces just on hand, ready to wipe up if need be. Okay, now, that's all just hand tight now. We'll just loosen that off. And here it just release its seal and it's clipped in here, so You need to uh, unclip it. 
and we'll have a little cleanup of the housing replaces seals. And you see it's got some drips. If you really want to, you can cut yours open and inspect it for any bits of metal and things. Okay, we'll just stand here, hold it dripping. And we're gonna do a quick one, two, three, flip it over and in, into the bag, pop it off. There we go. Now we can give that a little wipe out, check, make sure everything's okay with the internals. Cause sometimes like on our Porsche, that piece broke off. Uh, and that is part of the uh, over, like the pressure relief. So we need to get that, uh, you don't want to have that uh, not working. All right, now it's hard to see on camera because it's black on black, I suppose. There's a little O-ring there, just a little flathead screwdriver is all you need. You might, yours is probably fine, but uh, depends how old your car is. But it comes with a new one, so we will replace it. So I don't know, people are funny about lubing o-rings and stuff i just find it's easier to get it on there so uh, we'll just get a little bit of oil from inside and reseat that put it down there you go that's your o-ring on and in position let's grab your filter that's the replacement filter we picked up there's no uh right or wrong way for that it just goes on Push down and locks in. Should be a little clip down the bottom. That's it, it's in there. You can kind of see down the middle. And you see that it kind of rotates a little. So that's on there. So that's ready to go back on. Now, one thing I didn't mention, when we uh, popped this out, this whole, whole area, this reservoir was almost full of oil. And then once you pop it out, it just drains right away. So that's. Be prepared for that. You're gonna have another bit of oil kind of come out at the bottom. So there we go. But you see there, it's pretty empty. Um, there's no, I can't see any kind of metallic things, any chunks, but we'll check the oil later and uh, we'll put that filter in. So with our housing all ready to go, just put it straight down. There's a little wire kind of gets in the way. Don't want it cross threaded. So I'm gonna push it down firmly. There we go. And that'll start. So just start threading. So we go hand tight, not much. And then we have our torque wrench set to 25 newton meters. So we'll just go torque it to 25, call it a day. stop click click 25 newton meters done and then then plus five uh, 25 should be fine all right don't forget your paper towel you let got in there you're gonna you have to use it to check your oil so we can leave it on top for now as a reminder but that's uh, that's job done for up top we'll put the engine cover back in the position and uh, put our plug back in the bottom Okay, very, very slow drips coming through there. That's good enough. We're not going to wait a day to get that stopping. Now, plug here. Now, I don't want to drop it. We're going to go in, give it a little bit of a turn, kind of get it started. There we go. That's enough to stop any more drips. We can wipe it up. We can get this oil pan out of here. Okay, with the oil pan out, we got our little tool or your screwdriver, whatever you're gonna use, and you put it in, and we're just gonna turn it until it's snug and it kind of locks into place. That's it. There's just a little locking point where that's done and that's sealed. And we keep an eye on this because so there was a little bit of a drip and it looks like it was coming from there. And the plastic oil pan on these things is sucks because uh yeah, they are known to split after a while. 
Here's a fun one. Volkswagen and their infinite wisdom. They have a giant freaking hole here, but you can't put a funnel in. You have to have one that maybe clips in, or unless you got a little tiny one that kind of goes in off the side. So that's awesome. Okay, so we got a 5W30. Got to make the spec, and that's the uh, Volkswagen 504 or 502 spec. This one is. It's a Penrite oil, Australian company that I'd use on quite a few cars. Full synthetic, of course. Um, and we're just going to start pouring in the liquid gold. We've topped it up. Well, we put in what came out, which is five liters. I couldn't find actually anything in the manual about how much this actually takes. Um, yeah, all right, so we put in five. And we'll just check and see. Now this is without running it, of course. Uh, I can't see there, look in the right. It's about halfway, but I'm gonna run it for a second. Halfway is enough to definitely run it. And so that's gonna get oil flowing through the oil filter and stuff as well. So we'll get it running for a few minutes and then we'll check again after we can let it sit. All right, we ran it for oh, three minutes there. Should be enough. Let's have a little look at the dipstick again. Let's see if we can see it in the light. Can we see it on the camera? No. Can I see it in the flesh? Yes. All right, so yeah, it's gone down a little bit. So we'll add, probably looks like another half a liter. And then we should be right in the middle. Already out, that's another 500 mils in. Where are we? Can we see it? Right in the middle. So if we want to top it up, a little bit more, let's get it to the upper end. Probably put about 250 odd mils in. And that should get us up there. That's it. Great. Oil change on the 1.8 liter Audi A1, done. There is one more thing we have to do, and that is clear the vehicle inspection. There you go, I've got to clear that. Uh, yeah, 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 close the door. Okay, so what we'll do there, we're gonna turn off the radio, turn off all the fans, which, that should be off, there we go. And we have our little tablet with our OBD11 plugged in. There we go, up under the dash. We're gonna connect to the car. And we're gonna clear this. Now I'm gonna ask you for a favor, it's not a big one, but to justify me doing these car videos to the missus, can you please just like the video? I mean, you don't need to subscribe, that's fine. But if you found it useful, remotely entertaining, just somewhat interesting just hit the like button and i can justify my existence and my time and money spent on toys to the missus that's it now back to the show okay we'll connect here obd 11 connecting there we go we're connected we're gonna go up to the top we're gonna go to the car we're gonna go to apps There are lots of cool little things you can do on this car to change a couple features. But we're just going to do some workshop stuff. Now, we are going to go into up here, top, workshop. Uh, and oil type and everything. Actually, what does it say oil type? That's interesting. What does that want? Regular. Long life. Now we're using regular. Anyway. Can go through this on my own time later now let's go through down below oil service reset it's on original we want to go to reset hold that down working 
success that has been reset your oil service thing will no longer be on the dash it'll come up and again well you can set the date at the time there is 365 days inspection service reset we'll be doing that one too so we're going to go there and go to reset because we're changing all the filters and things as well hold that down working reset success now your oil change is properly done